hi and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is maxine and this is the broke and crafty channel so if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel why don't you do so by hitting the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you're always notified whenever i post so today we're going to be doing the long awaited part two of the diy palette sofa but i did a part one for the tv stand and the sofa and i will link it in this video i did ask people to vote for either a green or gray seat in the last video unfortunately guys i didn't go for either one of those i found a blue fabric that really caught my eye and i stuck to that and i changed the whole theme of what i wanted to go for so I hope you like it just keep on watching and you let me know what you think at the end of the video this is the paint that I'm going to use I must say I had a lot of trouble with paint hence why the video even took this long I struggled with this paint guys I made mistakes along the way but you know what with, with DIYs you learn from your mistakes and you correct them and you move on so I'm still in the process of correcting the paint job that I did but the biggest mistake that I did was I used turpentine to just to thin the paint that I was using because I was using an oil based paint and guys that was the biggest mistake i made i wish i googled before starting to paint but unfortunately i didn't do that and i ended up wasting a whole week let me say a week or a couple of days of just bad paint job so i started with the tv stand and that's the one i painted by mixing the paint and the turpentine and the wood just sucked in all the paint it was like I didn't do anything in short so I later on googled and found out that I was supposed to prime the wood before painting and by then it was too late and man I was over it so uh, the palettes for the seats I ended up painting them on the edges just places where I would be seen at the time I will correct it so please not guys I will not leave them like this I will correct them as time goes by one eternity later so this is what I was talking about guys you see that part I painted and it doesn't even look like I painted it but I figured out that if I put a thick layer on it stuck and looked a bit better so I'll just go over it again and paint the places that I had painted before just second layer of paint Meanwhile, so for my backrest and throw pillows, I'm going to make them myself using fiber. I got this fiber from Gikomba. It's heavy duty fiber, 5 kgs, and uh, and for this I got it at 1500 shillings. The throw pillows, cushion covers, and backrest covers I had my tailor make them for me and she also made these linings for me so the linings should have like a little space like this just for you to fill up if you're going to make the pillow on your own you will need to fill it up with fiber so
So what I'm going to do is just fill up the lining with fiber until I'm satisfied with the density of the pillow. So the thing is fiber will not be enough if you're going to make big throw pillows or uh, for the both the backrest and the throw pillow. So what I did was I mixed it with an old mattress that I had. I just cut up the old mattress into small pieces, mixed it with the fiber and it was enough. So So this is how it looks guys this is how it turned out i hope you like it as much as as much as i do i changed the color last minute but i i don't regret it i love it obviously my curtains and carpet color clash with the current theme but i'm working on changing those so i'm not so worried about those and i hope you like it 
I will list down where I got all the materials from in the description box down below. I will also list down the prices for each item in the description box down below. So make sure you do check that out. If you like the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so by hitting the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so you you get to see the TV stand which I will be posting tomorrow. The total cost for this seat was eleven thousand and ninety-five. So I have a three-seater for eleven thousand Kenyan shillings. For me, that's a steal because usually you get a three-seater at twenty-five thousand and above. So. In my opinion, I think I, I saved like 10,000 shillings, which is a very good deal.